Let's now have a conversation on agriculture because it's, uh, we're told it's the heartbeat of our livelihood. I've been joined this morning by Professor Edward Reger. He is the uh, president of the All Africa uh, Conference on Animal, uh, Greek and the Livestock, Poultry and Fisheries Trade Show. And also the uh, Dr. Richard Oseyam Ponsa. He's a senior lecturer at the University of Ghana. He's also the vice president of the Ghana Society on Animal Production. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you very much for your time. You Let's talk first of all on the general outlook of agriculture in Africa. Uh, we, we keep bragging or keep saying that we produce all the goodies in the world and yet we get nothing from it. Is it, is it the truth? Oh, yes it is. Um, so you said agriculture, so let's start with crops then right. come back to, right. to livestock. So if you look at crops, um, I'll talk about the three C's. Cotton, cocoa, okay. and coffee. Mm. Those are the crops that we are proud of as Africa. Okay. But if you, if you look at what we get out of them, mm. a lot of these are sent out of our countries, our continent, okay. and they come back to us as finished products. Mm -hmm. We hardly ever add, add value mm. to, this, to these products. So, for example, the cocoa that I drink in Kenya is not from Ghana, okay. and yet cocoa globally, Ghana is one of the leaders. Right. Um, the coffee that I drink in Kenya is not from Kenya, and Kenya is one of the leaders. Mm. So we actually are exporting jobs okay. um, when, when it comes to the crops mm. that we proudly say are ours. Okay. The same is applying mm. also in livestock. Mm. Um, we have a lot of livestock. Um, one of the countries in Africa is actually the leader, the number 10 in the world in production of livestock, in terms of the number of livestock heads, okay. Ethiopia. Ethiopia Airlines imports livestock products for, for the passengers mm. on board. Mm. The Hilton Hotel in Ethiopia imports livestock products for, for, for the customers. Right. The Sheraton does the same. We can s re repeat this story across the continent. So basically the p challenge we have is low productivity, okay. low value add, and continuing to depend, uh, to depend on others outside of the continent mm. where in fact we could trade amongst, amongst ourselves. Mm by actually adding value to the products that mm. we produce. Look, there's going to be a, a, a conference in Ghana, but first let's look also at the, the government initiative, uh, planting for food and jobs, rearing for food and uh, jobs. local development, whatever it is. Yeah. is. Is that the answer to the problem that Prof has, has told us about? I would say yes and no. Why, uh, why yes. no? Why yes? <laughs> Let me start with the positive. Yes, because if you look at that, that, the, the initiative and the objectives that it seeks to achieve, mm. you will realize that we want to give our farmers the best genetics. Mm. We want to ensure that they have the best uh, feed for the animals. Right. We want to also ensure that there is veterinary access. Mm. We want to ensure that we create markets for them. So in other words, you are making the livestock industry uh, uh, business friendly mm. for the private sector to be attractive enough to the private sector. Okay. Now, when we do this kind of initiatives, as you, as you have read many times and probably interviewed people, mm. it is good. But my question and my worry has mm. always been making sure that we implement it to the end. Okay. To, to make sure that we are able to make it so attractive that somebody who is completing his university education in agriculture mm -hmm. will say that, I would like to be an entrepreneur in agriculture. Okay. I would like to set up a farm. I'll mm. do this. Mm. So for me, on paper, the project is very good. Government is doing mm. very well. But we need to make sure that we bring on board the private sector. Okay. Because I think, like we always say, it's the engine. Right. If you don't link up with the private sector, uh, it will just, after the project is over, mm. then nothing happens. Mm. So that is what I will say. Prof, is that why the All Africa Conference on <laughs> Animal Agri uh, Agriculture is coming up? So the, the concept of um, All Africa Conference on Animal Agriculture started when way back in the early 90s, uh, professionals in animal sciences realized that um, the atomized approach where each country is struggling okay. um, is not adequate. And that cross-learning cross, um, cross learning between countries is, is the way to go. Okay. Um, so around that time, there were a few countries that had associations or societies of professionals. Mm. So it was felt that it was time for Africa to actually st to start moving towards having one that unifies mm. this, this uh, delinked okay. national, national mm. associations. Mm. So in 1992, the first one was held in Kenya. 
Subsequently, every four years, there has been one. The, okay. the second one in South Africa, the third one in, um, in Egypt, mm. the fourth one in Tanzania, the fifth in Ethiopia, the sixth in Kenya again, mm. and now the seventh is being held why, in Ghana. Why Ghana? One, because um, we needed to have one in, in West Africa. Mm. Remember, the, the original idea was to connect Africa. Okay. And the ones that happened in the, the first five mm. were all in southern and, we, and let me say eastern part of, mm. of Africa. Mm. So we felt it was time for, for West Africa to be brought on board. Okay. And we talked to Ghana and through FARA, which is based here, the Forum for, uh, on Af African um, Agricultural Research, mm. um, FARA is based here. And we talked to FARA and FARA said, Ghana has two societies, okay. professional societies, and we can link with them. Right. That's how we linked with um, our colleagues in mm. Ghana, okay. and they agreed to, to host this conference. Right. Secondly, mm. Ghana is one of the promising, the promising areas of agriculture generally, and Ghana has some very good scientists right. in animal sciences. Doc, yeah. what outcome should we be expecting after we've met professionals and society chiefs? Wonderful. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yes, indeed, as our team says, innovations to harness the potential mm. of Africa's animal agriculture. Right. That tells you that we have not gotten the best that we are supposed to get from our animal agriculture. Mm. So what's 7th or African Conference? What 7th All African Conference is going to do is to create that platform okay. where we will identify mm. all the missing links, okay. all the gaps, mm. all the business opportunities. Okay. We normally cry about the challenges, but mm. at the same time, there are many opportunities. Okay. And the, the, the conference is going to bring that out. I see. And then we are doing this with the, the Livestock, Poultry and Fisheries Show. Okay. And so we are linking academia with the private sector okay. and industry players. Mm. Uh, this is something that is very important if we are to develop agricultural sector. Right. The professor may probably have developed some uh, feed ingredient mm -hmm. that can replace another one mm. at a lower cost. Mm. But you need the private sector to drive that. Okay. And that is why I'm so excited right. that w from uh, Monday to Friday, we have this opportunity. There are many programs. Mm. There are many side events. Mm. And I believe you will be there. I will. Thank I you. Will. Sh share, the date, <laughs> share the date and the, okay. uh, who can attend. Okay. So it's open to everybody. But I'll, I'll tell you that uh, presentation of papers and things like that have closed okay. because we have a book of abstracts and program already right. published. Right. Uh, but the public is invited, especially to the opening ceremony. If anybody is in animal agriculture who has not registered yet, I will encourage them to please mm. go to our website, www.aacaa7.org, okay. and then just try and make sure they register. Right. Uh, otherwise, I will just call on all our partners, including you, the media, mm. to be there, and whatever come out, tell the, the world about it. Right. Yeah. Prof, you have the final word. Uh, where do we go from here? We'll publish the paper we get from it. We have had seven editions. Where do we go from here? What do you want to see in the final analysis, see in the next 10 years? So for this conference, we, um, as uh, Richard has mentioned, we have invited private sector, but I think we must mention that we have also invited policy. Okay. So we have invited pe people that make decisions at the government right. levels uh, in some sample So countries. it's a triangle. Exactly. Okay. So we would like to engage them and to help help the, the triangle, mm. to help the triangle know what each other is doing okay. and to, to define the future together. Mm. The future that we see is um, livestock that is thriving in the continent, mm -hmm. Africa that trades with itself, mm. and Africa that adds value to its livestock product mm. so that, in fact, we are not, uh, we are not trading on the hoof. Right now, we s talk about trading animals between countries, okay. between Ghana and the neighbors. Mm. What do we do? We send the animal, we walk the animal, or we transport the animal. We, right. add, we don't add value. Mm -hmm. So how can we begin to address some of these challenges, which means, in fact, that the, the farmers that produce this livestock are actually being shortchanged right. because we are not adding value to the products. Yes, yes, thank you. Yes, quickly, to, yes, to quickly mm -hmm. thank mm -hmm. our sponsors. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, a number of uh, organizations have supported us. Mm -hmm right from the start and i want to mention au iba that is the african union's interbureau mm -hmm. uh, re, uh, what, uh, office Inter african bureau, bureau of animal resources yes yeah. for animal resources they have been supportive iri international okay. livestock research institute okay. fara here in ghana 
and others. We thank just you. want to say thank you very much. Most for grateful indeed uh, to Dr. Richard Osayan Ponsai, the senior lecturer at the University of Ghana. He's also the vice president of the Ghana Society of Animal Product, uh, Producers, and he is uh, the uh, part of the committee, both locally and internationally, put in this seventh conference together. Professor Richard, uh, Professor Edward Reggae is the president of this uh, All Africa Conference on Animal Agriculture and Livestock and Poultry and Fisheries Trade Show that's happening from the 29th to 29th of July to the 2nd of August at the Accra International Conference Center. You've got to be there because this is important to all of us. We eat to live. We don't live to eat. So if they're talking agriculture, you should be interested. We'll